Hello, in today's session, we are going to talk about the analog color television systems that is NTSC, PAL, and CCAM. And I am the presenter, Mrs. Suvarna Kadam. So, let us start our discussion with the three different color television systems. Okay? And these are invented after a prolonged research and the experimentation. These are the American NTSC system, which is called as a National Television System Committee system. The next one is the German system, which is the PAL. And the long form of PAL is phase alteration by line system. Third system is the French CCAM, whereas the long form of this system is a sequential cular memory system so these are the three system which are worldwide adapted for analog color televisions so you will not find any fourth standard for analog television system or analog color television system so let us talk one by one so first we'll talk about the ntsc color television system so here if we see our color circle we are having this kind of the presentations or we are having this kind of the uh, uh, locations of the color here the b minus y and here it will be the minus b minus y okay and then in between the phase change and the amplitude change where we are using the quadrature amplitude modulation for color signal okay so your color sub carrier for ntsc system will be 3.58 megahertz but whatever uh, like uh, sensitivity of our eye for each and every color, if we see our eyes are more sensitive to 33 degree away from B minus Y, which we are denoting right now as Q component, and it is more sensitive to the I component, which is again plus 90 degree in this particular Q component. So if our eyes are more sensitive to this I component and a Q component of subcarrier, why we are vesting our bandwidth in like transmitting so much? So each and every color can be presented in terms of I and Q signals. So here in the NTSC system, we are transmitting I component, Q component along with your luminance signal. So if you see in the NTSC color system, which is compatible with the 525 line monochrome system, in order to save bandwidth, advantage is taken of the fact that eyes resolution of colors along the reddish blue, yellowish green axis on the color circle is much less than those colors which lie around the yellowish red and greenish blue axis. Therefore, two new color video signals which corresponds to this color regions are generated. These are designed as I and Q signals. So I signal is equal to 0.74. R minus Y minus 0.27 B minus Y and a Q signal is equal to 0.48 R minus Y plus 0.41 B minus Y. Since the eye is capable of resolving five details in the regions, eye signal is allowed to possess frequencies up to 1.5 megahertz. However, the eye is least sensitive to the colors which lies around plus minus Q signal and therefore it is allowed a bandwidth of only plus minus 0.5 megahertz with respect to the color subcarrier so these are the details of the ntsc system functional diagram of your ntsc coder what we are transmitting we are transmitting y q and i okay so you are taking the picture or you are taking the colors from the color camera it is given rgb these are the basic colors you are giving it to the matrix you are generating luminance signal out of it then quadrature component or q component i component we know the i component sensitivity is more than i uh, like uh, I component sensitivity is more than Q component allowed to go up to 1.5 megahertz okay? and Q component up to 0.5 megahertz. So if you see your sync and blanking pulses are get added in your luminance signal and that signal will be given to the adder. Next one is nothing but the if you are giving it to the balance modulator the output of the balance modulator is nothing but the double sideband suppressed carrier. So you will get only sidebands here okay so here also you are going to talk about the balance modulator now to this modulators you are giving the carriers by color sub carrier generator आपका जो भी burst generate होता है वो आपका zero degree पे generate होता है and that will be given to the adder which will be added at the back porch of your uh, vertical uh, sorry horizontal blanking pulse then you are adding a 57 ka phase shift if you see previous diagram or if you remember the previous diagram you are adding 57 degree Yaha pe. this is the burst you are adding a 57 degree phase shift your eye subcarrier will be generated 
plus 90 degree your q sub carrier will be generated so what you are doing here in this particular figure if you will see you are adding a 57 phase shift in the burst and you are giving this 57 carrier to the balance modulator and plus 90 to the q component so here you will get both the side bands 0 0.5 0 0.5 so if I am interested in drawing how it looks like, so I'm just trying to show you clearly. If your color subcarrier 3.58 megahertz, then you will have 0.5 and here 0.5. हो जाएगा. And which component is your component? This is minus Q, this is your plus Q. है. Now what happens in this balance modulator? If you are going for this particular, uh, I can say a balance modulator, you will get something like this so you are having 1.5 upper side band and you are having 1.5 lower side band okay but you are using a band pass filter which will filter out this one lower side band okay and only upper side band will be transmitted that is 1.5 okay so you can say here um, so sorry you are not transmitting the lower side band so you, you if you see here 0 0.5 0 0.5 ये 0.5 है ये 0.5 है प्लस 0.5 माइनस 0.5 अपर साइड बैंड विच अप टू 0.5 एंड लोअर साइड बैंड विल बी अप टू 3.5 सॉरी अप टू 1.5 व्हाई अपर साइड बैंड इज नॉट टेकन फुल बिकॉज़ इफ यू आर गोइंग टू टेक अ अपर साइड बैंड फुल इट विल बिकम 3.5 एट प्लस 1.5 व्हिच विल बी आई विल राइट हियर 5.08 megahertz but in NTSC our uh, you can say the video bandwidth is restricted up to 4 megahertz only okay your video bandwidth is 4 megahertz you are not allowed to interleave anything related video above that particular 4 megahertz so lower sideband complete is taken and upper sideband is only 0.5 so if you show this particular thing pe, these are the Q components okay both the side bands and for your eye component only complete lower side band and 0.5 upka upper side band and this is filtered by the band pass filter now all the signals gets added together with your luminance signal and then it is given now you can see here upka jo bhi hai 1.5 hai ye dono 0.5 uska bhi 0.5 tak hai aur ye complete upka luminance signal hai up to 4 mega Hertz. and this signal will be given to the main transmitter and it will be given to the antenna for transmission so when you are talking about the NTSC signal you are transmitting Y you are transmitting I you are transmitting Q okay Q both plus minus 0.5 megahertz okay Aapka lower side band complete hai lekin jo upper side band hai wo sirf 0.5 megahertz tak jata hai aur luminance is having a 4 megahertz of a bandwidth so these things you are transmitting in the ntsc coder now if you want to study decoder you do the exactly opposite processes for receiver so you can see here you are having an antenna over here so antenna receives the signal it is given to the tuner and if amplifier video detector will detect the signal gives that signal to video amplifier okay which will extract your luminance signal now this is the delay line as you can see your um, color signal is starting you can say after your luminance signal so to have a synchronization between your luminance and a chrominance one delay line is given over here to have a proper synchronization of my luminance and the chrominance then you are separating out the automatic gain circuit outputs and you are giving the sync separator and a deflection circuit which will separate out the sinks and that will be given to the deflection circuits next is nothing but the here you are just taking out the burst signal if burst present your signal is color if it is absent color killer circuit get activated and all the colors will be you can say um, uh, you are not generating any color for that particular signal then this signal will be given to the synchronous demodulator synchronous demodulator for i and a q now whatever burst you have extracted here wo aapne separate kar liya usse aap usne aap waha us jo bhi aapne subtract kiya usse aapne color burst generate kar liya aur wo color burst jo bhi hai aapne wo oscillator ko de diya aur uske baad uska carrier generate karke usko 
57 डिग्री डिले दे के आई को डी मॉड्यूलेट कर लिया 90 डिग्री और डिले दे के क्यू को मॉड्यूलेट कर दिया नाउ एज यू नो दैट यू हैव ट्रांसमिटेड योर आई कंपोनेंट विद 1.5 मेगाहर्ट्ज का बैंडविड्थ सो दिस इज द फिल्टर व्हिच विल टेक आउट दैट आई सिग्नल दिस इज द फिल्टर व्हिच विल सेपरेट आउट योर क्यू कंपोनेंट देन आई क्यू सिग्नल्स विल बी गिवन टू द मैट्रिक्स व्हेन आई एंड क्यू सिग्नल्स विल बी गिवन टू द मैट्रिक्स your r minus y amplifier g minus y amplifier and b minus i amplifier gives r minus y component g minus y and b minus y component then they will be separated out with a y particular signal or y you can say you can extracting your luminance your prominences out of this particular so this is the simplified block diagram of ntsc receiver now pal color television system this is as we have seen the system which tells us that this is the phase alteration by line so if i am talking about the pal system this is the system or this is the r system whereas we can say uh, indian system or uh, german system so how you going to represent the u signal u is nothing but the, if i am going to represent my u signal my u signal will be 0.493 b minus y and you can say v is equal to 0.877 r minus y so uh, now i am showing it in this terms so this will be u and this will be the v so if you are transmitting and how many you uh, how many lines you are having in this system 625 lines and suppose your first line is transmitted like this theek hai agar aapka first line aise ja raha hai let us say this is u plus jv the another line will be transmitted u minus jv so you have altered the phase phase alteration by line every line if this is u plus jv you are transmitting another with the u minus jv so there is a you can say the phase reversal of this particular and that's why this system is called as the phase alteration by line for every line you will have a different or alternate alternative phase theek hai so in a very simple way for for what purpose we are doing this one if you see this is your nth line whereas you are transmitting uh, this u plus jv and this is u minus jv and your eyes are having a averaging mechanism at this particular point aapka kya ho jayega in dono ka average ho ke aapko ye yahan pe mil jayega theek hai now but if there is this is the condition where you don't have any phase errors theek hai agar yahan pe kuch phase error hai and like this is nothing but the delta theek hai then your resultant or your line n is having this resultant but it is having a delta error that's why this is and this is the plus delta error theek hai to wo yahan pe aapka r1 dikh raha hai next line pe as this is the on another side and the error is plus this will be shift here r2 theek hai now when the averaging mechanism takes place you are having this you can say yahan se plus delta yahan pe shift ho gaya hai to aap agar jab usko reverse karenge to aapka ye r2 yahan pe aa jayega aur r1 yahan pe aa jayega na averaging mechanism aapka plus delta minus delta ye dono ko nullify kar dega theek hai so when it nullifies this phase error results into the hue error so if this error automatically gets cancelled there will not be any q error in your pal system and that's why if you if you see the controls you don't have a q control you don't have that q control ka knob on your remote or on that particular control panel because you don't require a q correction so that that q errors get automatically cancelled so this is the advantage of your phase alteration by line now pal d color system will see one by one the use of i as the averaging mechanism for the correct u is the basic simple pal system however beyond a certain limit the i does see the effect of the color changes on alternate line and so the system needs modification so remarkable improvement occurs in the system if a delay line is employed to do the averaging first and then present the color to the i so this is known as the pal d or delay line pal method and is most commonly used in the pal color receivers now here if you see how that averaging mechanism takes place or, or how the delay line works if you see i'll just take the example first about say your first line is coming here that will be u plus jv or nth line jahan pe aapka ya fir aap 
आप ठीक है हम यहाँ से स्टार्ट करेंगे एंथ लाइन इज यू प्लस जे वी इट इज गिवन टू द डी ले लाइन नाउ दिस डी ले लाइन विल गिव यू प्रीवियस लाइन लाइक यू माइनस जे वी नाउ वॉट यू आर डूइंग दिस करंट राइट इज एडेड विद द डी लेड वन सो यू प्लस जे वी प्लस यू माइनस जे वी विच इज टू यू सो इफ यू आर गिविंग इट टू द यू डू डी मॉडुलेटर यू आर यू विल गेट सेपरेटेड नाउ सब्सट्रैक्शन में क्या होता है यू प्लस जे वी माइनस यू माइनस जे वी ठीक है सो यू यू विल गेट कैंसल्ड एंड यू विल गेट अ प्लस टू जे वी नाउ इफ यू आर गिविंग दिस टू द वी डी मॉडुलेटर योर वी आउटपुट विल गेट बी गेट इट विल बी सेपरेटेड आउट सो बेसिक प्रिंसिपल ऑफ पार डी डी मॉडुलेशन एंड यू कैन सी समेशन ऑफ कॉन्सिक्यूटिव लाइन फ्लेजर्स ऑन द पार डी रिसीवर सो पार डी इज नथिंग बट द इफ यू आर इनकॉर्पोरेटिंग अ डी ले लाइन इन द रिसीवर दिस विल बी कॉल्ड एज द पार डी रिसीवर हाउ लेट एस सी जनरलाइज डायग्राम और पार कोडर एंड डी कोडर डायग्राम फॉर दिस डी ले सिस्टम so this is your coder same as what we have seen this is your myo matrix y will be generated delayed and added here this will be the composite color video signal u minus v matrix u modulator and a v modulator theek hai aap yahan se color sub carrier generate kar rahe ho color sub carrier 90 degree phase shifted so it will be u plus jv and u minus jv theek hai so then 180 degree phase shift this will be sync generator so sync will be generated after every line theek okay? hai so for each and every line that phase will be reversed so whenever it detects there is a change in the line there will be the change in the phase so this is fu and this is the plus minus fp so either u plus jv hoga ya u minus jv hoga and finally it will get added in what in your color composite signal now you can see out of that again you have generated sync pulses and given to this one so that sync pulse generator will generate sync and it will interleave that or it will have a burst on the back porch this is the pal encoder what about the decoder exactly opposite processes as we have done here so pal decoder first we'll talk about pal coder the weighted b minus y r minus y signals are modulated without being given a phase shift of 33 as done in the ntsc system on modulation both the color difference quadrature signals are allowed the same bandwidth of about 1.3 megahertz so this results in the better color reproduction the color sub carrier frequency is chosen to be 4.43 megahertz it is the odd multiple of one quarter of the line frequency instead of half line offset as used in the ntsc system so this results in the somewhat better cancellation of the dot interference so this technique of modulation cancels u error which results from unequal shifts of the or unequal shifts in the transmitted signal now pal decoder similarly you are you giving it the video decoder or video detector y amplifier delay line then as we know that we are just allowing uh, our we, our color sub carrier is 4.43 megahertz so you just give it to the 3 to 5 megahertz amplifier only that signals will get amplified it is given to the 64 delay line which is nothing but the uh, principle of your pal d system whereas the same things happens which i have explained in the earlier side that is u plus jv u minus jv adder subtractor you are separating out u and v signals here then you are extracting the line seek identification sub carrier regenerator and it is given to the phase reverse switch for each and every the v switch will be reverse u plus jv u minus jv it is given to the matrix then r minus y g minus y b minus y signal will be extracted and then your original signals will be taken out r g and b so this is the pal decoder so next one is nothing but and this is the last system which is the secam system so if you see here the total opposite kind of things or the total different things are incorporated here so instead of using amplitude modulation for video signal here we are using a frequency modulation for color signal so for red color difference signal you are using different frequency and for blue color difference signal you are using different carrier frequency so when you are giving rgb your y signal will be separated out given to the delay line and then to the adder your dr is given that dr is connected to the switch again you are having switch on each and every like uh, uh, dr or db you are giving a different carrier signal so your 
you can say this is your subcarrier oscillator that subcarrier oscillator generates a carrier depending on which frequency comes to it as we are going for the frequency modulation we are using a preemphasis because it it needs to increase the modulation index uh, to uh, have a better noise immunity so you can see here a low frequency preemphasis high frequency preemphasis and then it is given to the adder now you can see from this particular sync pulse generator the switching controls are taken out because you know that uh, you need to switch the frequency then you are generating a generator it is given to the matrix and the link circuit so this things get added in the final signal to understand whenever there is a like change in the lines ठीक है सब कैरियर जनरेट टू कैरियर्स आर जनरेटेड फॉर ईच एंड एवरी फ्रीक्वेंसी द ओनली डिफरेंस हियर इज नथिंग बट द इंस्टेड ऑफ यूजिंग वीडियो मॉड्यूलेशन सॉरी एम्पलीट्यूड मॉड्यूलेशन फॉर वीडियो यू आर यूजिंग फ्रीक्वेंसी मॉड्यूलेशन एंड टू फ्रीक्वेंसीज फॉर टू कलर डिफरेंस सिग्नल्स यू आर यूजिंग हियर सो डी मॉड्यूलेशन प्रोसेस हियर विल बी एग्जैक्टली अपोजिट वॉट वी हैव सीन इन द मॉड्यूलेशन फर्स्ट विल टॉक अबाउट द सी कैम ड्यूरिंग द कोर्स ऑफ डेवलपमेंट ऑफ सी कैम सिस्टम इट पासिस थ्रू सेवरल स्टेजेस एंड कॉमनली यूज सिस्टम इज नोन एज द सी कैम थ्री it is 625 50 field system having a 625 lines and a 50 field system with a channel bandwidth of 8 megahertz the sound carrier is plus 5.5 megahertz relative to the picture carrier the nominal color difference signal or color sub carrier frequency is 4.43 megahertz but actually two color sub carrier frequencies are here the y signal is obtained from the camera output in the same way as in the ntsc and pal system however different weighing factors are used and the weighted color difference signals are termed as dr and db where your dr is 1.9 r minus y and your db is 1.5 b minus y for the red difference signal it is 282 fh means you are using 4.4 megahertz for uh red difference signal modulation and you are using 272 fh for blue color difference signal that is 4.2 megahertz now your secam decoder what you have done at the coder side exactly opposite process you are doing at the decoder side so if you'll see uh, you have done a pre emphasis de emphasis then amplifier you are going to get a chroma signal then delay line y amplifier notch filter y signal will be separated out then you are giving a 64 delay line here there are the switches which will select dr and db and uh, you can say for that two d modulators we need to design now if there is uh, if there at all any change in the amplitude that will be limited by the limiting circuit which is called as the limiter so amplitude variations will be not there it is given to the discriminator discriminator is the d modulator so the switches this particular whatever you are getting from your signal the ident circuit will generate a switch control and for a respective signal respective demodulator will be in active condition so discriminator then de emphasis because we are having two frequencies 4.4 and 4.2 for two different colored signals so de emphasis again gives to the amplifier dr will be separated out de emphasis amplifier blue color difference signal will be separated out when it is given to the amplifier and the matrix y dr db collectively generates vr vg and the vb so this is the function or functional diagram of the sequem 3 decoder so this is all about all three system now let us summarize all these three system if at all in the examination you are asked to show the difference or ask to write the difference between three systems so horizontal lines in ntsc 525 ccam 625 pal 625 field frequency for ntsc 60 hertz ccam 50 hertz and pal 50 hertz bandwidth of ntsc 6 megahertz ccam 8 megahertz pal 7 megahertz sound carrier picture carrier difference in ntsc is 4.5 megahertz ccam 6.5 megahertz and pal 5.5 megahertz color signal in ntsc you are transmitting i and q whereas i is equal to 0.74 r minus y minus 0.27 b minus y q is equal to 0.48 r minus y plus 0.40 b minus y in the ccam you are transmitting dr and db whereas dr is minus 1.9 r minus y and db is 1.5 b minus y in pal you are transmitting u and v so u is weighted b minus y 0.493 b minus y v is equal to 0.877 r minus y color signal modulation in ntsc and pal uses qam modulation and in ccam you are going for frequency modulation Pri principle of operation if you see ntsc very simple operation ccam complicated 
pal again complicated complicated because reversal of phase is there for each and every line the phase error this is subjected to phase error secam this is in this phase error is minimum and in the pal no phase error color sub carrier burst in ntsc is exactly at 3.579 megahertz in a secam two color sub carriers 4.4 megahertz and 4.25 megahertz and in the pal you are having a color sub carrier of 4.43 megahertz applications where this particular system <laughs> are applicable ntsc is applicable in usa ccam is applicable in france and pal is applicable in india or australia so this is all about the three uh, television systems which are used worldwide worldwide means uh, in a different regions or different parts or geographical areas so these are all about the three color television systems that is ntsc pal and ccam will stop here thank you